Hi all, good evening to everyone. Let me share my screen and then we'll start for today's CCNA session, okay? So just allow me one minute. Let me share my screen. Okay. <clears throat> So hope you guys are able to see my screen, right? So first of all, uh, welcome you all in Gwinnett Technologies, right? And today's very special session, that is a CCNA, it's beginning of networking, right? So you can see your career in networking begins with CCNA, right? So we are going to talk about the CCNA. So before we start to discussion about the CCNA, I would like to say, as we are celebrating our 75th year of the independence, so Jai Hind to everyone, okay? Because just two days to go, we'll start celebrating or like definitely we'll celebrate our independence of 75 year. So that is a very great festival for all Indians people. So Jai Hind to everyone. All right. So let me see how many people are on the Zoom and how many are watching on the YouTube. Then we'll start. Right, guys, just give me one more minute. Sorry for that. Let me see. Yeah, okay, that's great. We are on the right track. So people are joined. Whosoever need to join, that's fine. Okay. So let's start our session without any further deal. Okay. <clears throat> so today we'll talk about CCNA that is Cisco Certified Network Associates. So first we'll understand what is the CCNA and who basically need to do this CCNA. Is it compulsory to do everyone by everyone or is it something special requirement someone can do the CCNA then they will get the special kind of job. So we'll try to understand the, about this module. Why only CCNA? Why not I can go for the do some other vendor certifications? Why is Cisco having a lot of monopoly in the market? Why other vendor doesn't have in the monopoly in the market? So we'll try to understand each and everything while doing this discussion, okay? So first, as you can see here, they are talking about whenever you want to begin your career, like you want to start your career in networking domain. So might be many of the people are not able to understand what is a networking. So we'll discuss networking, having a lot of concepts. You can find networking concept in some non-technical world also. You have seen people are doing the network marketing. People are selling the products based on the direct selling marketing, networking. So that is also called networking. Some other uh, things also running in the market. They also call the networking. So here, what that means networking in the technology point of view. So we'll try to understand. So the core definition, if you want to begin your career, then you just have to start with the CCNA, okay? If you're not doing the CCNA, probably you will going to struggle in the networking domain. If your fundamental is not clear, you are going to struggle. This is the must course I can say. If you want to step in the networking field, you just have to have do this CCNA. Or even if you've not done the certification, you should having a knowledge of the CCNA. You should know how the networking work, how the network device connect in the different different area of the offices, home, some branch, some other places. Okay, so we'll go step by step there and discuss that. So in this networking, what we are going to cover. So you can see this is a CCNA certifications. This is the baby step whenever you want to plan to enter in the networking field. 
but before this baby is step we also having some certification program right so let let me just talk about little bit cisco certification program then we will try to understand about the ccna and then we will discuss about the network fundamentals what are the network fundamentals how basically it is going to help you in the day to day life of the any network engineer any security engineers so let me go through that first so if i go of the certification level of the cisco probably you will find that we having entry level of certifications basically that cisco define and there is associate level of certification that also cisco define and apart from that we having the professional level certification we having the expert level certification and the finally we having the architect level of certification so we'll discuss all certification one by one so at least you know where you stand and what you have to do which field you want to go what you let you on that field what kind of technology you have to grasp to go on that field we'll just understand but one thing you noticed if you want to become the architect or the expert in the cisco certifications so what is the cisco cisco is a vendor cisco is a vendor or company you can say right it's a company like in india we having the hyundai in the company maruti is a company tata is a company they are manufacturing the cars right they are uh, manufacturing some kind of the uh what i can say uh, xuv big car a small car hatchback and xuv sedan different different car they are manufacturing so what people are doing they people are buying the car they are traveling from you know uh, as per their convenience as per their luxury need from one place to another place so they are the like manufacturer they are manufacturing the cars right similarly we having the multiple uh, food vendor products like uh, some are producing some kind of the rice some are like uh, like they are basically at is uh, the rice is basically uh, produced by the farmers but the manufacturing and the you know uh, the final version of the rice packing and all and sending to the end consumer that is done by some companies which is acting as a mediator between the farmer and the end consumer so similarly cisco is a vendor cisco is a vendor who manufacture the network devices right network devices so probably even you don't know what is a network devices so just take this just note this word they manufacture the network devices and those devices very entry level we called as a router or switch just i am giving the very basic example router or switch okay there are multiple device type still they manufacture but the very basic router or switch just take an example right so this is the one vendor so similarly tata is manufacturing the car tata manufacturing the nexon car nano car hyundai manufacturing the again car that is a might be the creta you find some uh, aura some grand i10 i20 so different different model you find in car right if you go in the etios they having a different different car available brand uh, like uh, we can say model available in the etios vendor led it toyota right so different different vendor different different car they are doing the manufacturing so all car having the same purpose to just provide the luxury by using that luxury you can travel from one to another place okay you can just use as per your convenience but all are car but it's could be different different vendor some cars are very popular so might be if you're talking about the bmw if i talking about the some uh, tata car so these car are the quite cheap low cost these are the very expensive high cost but they are end is a car they are just doing the same job i can if i buy the tata car i can travel from any place like if i am staying in the gurgaon i can travel to the new delhi if i am staying in somewhere in the rajasthan i can travel to the uh, gurgaon if i am staying in somewhere in the you know mumbai i can travel to some other places tata can do the same thing but only the luxury feature and the next generation things available in these two cars they are making them more expensive and the brand value also makes them more expensive similarly in a market we having a different different vendors like we having the cisco vendors let me write down here cisco 
we having the juniper we having like uh, hp huawei you can find the huawei vendor also we you can just find the brocade vendor also right so we having a lot of vendor available in the market nokia is also one of the vendor so they all are manufacturing just i'm giving the devices router switch they all are manufacturing router switch but why is cisco is very popular the same story like uh, if you are buying the phone apple is quite popular quite expensive in compared to other phones because they having the more feature more brand value more uh, security features more robust hardware so that's why region they having the elite customers there available in the market and they buy always the apple phone similarly cisco having the very great market capture they having the monopoly so many of the companies are using the cisco devices even juniper is also very popular hp is also huawei brocade nokia every vendor is quite popular but cisco having the monopoly in the market so many of the vendors many of the organization they keep using the cisco products so that's why cisco having lot of requirement so if the product having a lot of requirement so to run that product we required some kind of the engineers some kind of technician because if lots of, let's assume that in your entire city only tata car is start selling right so everyone is start buying the tata like if there is 100 people and 90 people buy the tata and 10 people buy the bmw so which engineer is most required to just maintain provide the maintenance of the car Uh, like if any anything goes wrong with the car so just do the you know services repair and everything so maximum engineer is going to require for the tata car to just do that all work for the maintenance troubleshooting and the fixing the issue similarly cisco having the market scale is very high they having a lot of customers lot of products in the market so they required high number of engineers like in the market so if there is a high number of engineers requirement in the market so there is definitely how engineer will come to know about that product they have to understand their product they have to understand how work their products so they have to do some study so if they have to do some study then they have to do some kind of certification professional certifications that is known as a professional certifications so you just have to do professional certification and if you are doing the professional certification that has been categorized in the different different level so you can say in every company we having some like low grade engineer with might be technician some high grade engineers and some expert level engineer so how basically they classified based on the experience based on the knowledge and based on the like how quickly they are able to troubleshoot or fix the issue similarly in the cisco as well we having a different different level of the certifications so it is start from the entry and it goes to the architect level right so you can see here if you are planning to do the any certification you just want to enter in the cisco world so you just have to do ccent certification or cct certification so what is those certification so if i talk about the ccent certification that is known as cisco certified cisco certified entry networking technician right so this is a cisco certified entry networking technicians this is ccnt if i talk about the cct that is cisco certified design as uh, sorry cisco certified technician of collaborations okay so this is a collaboration related to voice and everything but this is a entry level of technician but these two certification basically people not do because it's a very basic you can do it but basically people not do this certification if you want to do that you can do that so you can see both of the cc ENT and the CCT certification serve as the starting point of the individual interest in starting a career in the networking professional. So if you are planning to do that, you can do that. No if and but. But actually, the action is start from the CCNM. You can directly go for the associate level of exam. That is a Cisco certified network 
engineer, right? Network associate. So that is called network engineer. So if you go in the CCNA exam, so probably let me just go here. So you can see here. So if you want to start certification of the CCNA exam, so any of the module from here you can cover. Like you can go for the CCDA. So this is the Cisco Certified Design Associate. So if I want to go in the core design networking field and you just want to start your career, so you can go for this certification, Design Associate, right? For the network design. If you want to go Cisco Certified Network Associate in the cloud, if you want to go move your career in the cloud, so you just have to go CCNA cloud where they will move, more talk about the cloud networking, how the cloud, virtual router, virtual suite, then connect to each other, how the networking is going to build in the cloud side. So the cloud is also play a very vital role. So if you're thinking to move your career in the cloud, just go for CCNA cloud. Still CCNA is required, right? If you want to go for the collaboration, like voice services, like how the phones, calls, collaboration, videos, everything, it's called in the collaboration. You should go in the CCNA collaboration. So you just have to show your interest where basically you want to go. If you want to go in a data center, you can go in data center. If you want to go in the industrial uh, of the uh, Cisco certification, you can go for the industrial. I'm just parking this routing and switching. If you want to go in the CCNA security, you can go in the security. If you want to go in the service provider, you can go in the service provider and the wireless, you can go for the wireless. Wow. So now you all are confused which certification shall I do for the CCNA? Lot of module I have, right? So one thing I'm telling, if you want to build, start your career in networking, so first you have to understand the networking. So what is networking? Let me just give a brief, then I'll again talk to the certification. Simple concept, right? What is networking? Let's assume there is two computer, right? This is one computer, this is another computer, right? If they, this is a PC one and this is the PC two. If you want to talk to each other, like if this PC want to talk to each other, so how basically they can talk? There is two way of talking this PC. They can talk via connecting to the wire, right? This is a one way or they can talk via the wireless. This is the big things might be if you are just beginner college pass out, you're just thinking to start your career. So might be you don't know how the wire and wireless make a difference in the networking, but something very, you know, useful and very key component in the wire and wireless when you talk about the networking, right? So let's say if you having the wired connectivity and you just want to make this PC want to talk to this PC. So if they are connected with the wire, they are forming a networking. So they are forming one networking because we are connecting two devices together via the cable, either the wired and either the wireless. This is called a networking. So when you having more than one device and you want to talk to each other, so how, what kind of talk can be happen? Might be this PC having some file, might be you having a photos, right? And your friend say, hey, can you just share me this photo, right? So you say, yes, I can share. So how can you share? You can use some kind of the software to share that photo via the wireless. Might be you just heard about that, uh, which software you use, the file transfer. Uh, even I forget in mobile, we use what software? It's an Android web software. I just forget the name, but you can just use one mobile transfer to another mobile transfer. There is a many, many open source software available. So you can use any of the software, just transfer the file. So two mobile are talking wirelessly to each other. That is also making one network. They are also part of the networking because they are sharing some data over the air from one mobile to another mobile. Similarly, from this laptop to this laptop, if they are exchanging the data, if you're sharing the photos, if you're sharing the videos, if you're sharing some other kind of the stuff, that is also known as a networking. Just it could be connected with the wired, it could be the wireless, okay? So this is how networking is going to work. So that means if you having the connectivity, this people is connected with the, down the side, two people, right? down the side, two people further connected with the two people, these people further connected with the two people, 
this is further connected with two people this is further connected with two people right this is further connected with two people this is further connected with two people right so you can see it is also networking you building the like binary tree where you just it, it, this networking known as the network marketing so if you just know about network marketing so this is a network marketing the people come to you and they might ask you hey you just join this scheme you just had to add two people only and further they will add two more people and then it is going to happen and you will earn one cr annually might be 100 cr annually so this kind of the you know um, things they will tell you but this is not simple game you have to put a lot of effort it's a very good industry many people are doing a lot of great job but still it is not like you just go and make one cr it's very simple way no it's not like that but still they are making networking like you are the one human you're just adding two legs further they are going to add multiple legs and then it's make a networking so that is another case of the networking so networking is that means interconnection of the devices interconnection of the humans whatever social networking what is social networking so sir like you having the facebook right so facebook also what they are doing facebook is one platform where multiple people are joining and exchanging their idea exchanging their photo exchanging their the videos ex exchanging their storage so they are also creating the networking so if i exchange the information that is received by him 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 so this is how network is going to be built from the different different people okay so hope it is clear to everyone so we understand a little bit about networking. We'll go deeper dive about the networking. No worry. So this is the beginning. So now you guys understand a little bit about networking. So still you guys are confused. Uh, one time I'm saying entry level certification, you don't need to go. You just have to go in the associate level certification. But still you don't know what is a career path of different different certification you don't know what is a career path of design what is the cloud collaboration data center industrial routing switching security service provider and wireless right what i said just hold your thought okay whatever certification you want to do just do one certification for the ccna you just ignore each and everything just ignore each and everything. If you want to start your career in the networking, pure networking, just go for this certification. CCNA routing and switching. Even I'm telling you, if you want to become the security engineer, if you want to become the service provider, if you want to become the wireless engineer, any of the certification you want to do, if your fundamental of the routing switching is not good, you'll be having a trouble in the future it is not i'm saying because uh, i just want to uh, you know teach this course or like that no it is like industry requirement because i have a very vast experience in networking and security domain i'm the instructor of the security palo alto f5 checkpoint and also sd van and all right but why i am telling because if you don't know about how to router work what is the routing protocol you don't know how the switch work then probably you always having a problem you are good in the firewall but although you just have to face a lot of connectivity where firewall is connected between the router and the switch so if you don't know how the routing protocol is going to configure how the static routing how the ospf how the ehrp is going to configure how the vlan is going to configure then probably you are going to struggle right so you do any other certification from this ccna you can go after this ccna routing switching for ccna security i'm not denying that you can go for any other collaboration data center industrial and the service provider and the wireless but i would say this is the beginning this should be your beginning of the networking that the ccna routing switching if you are doing this one and after that you are going in any direction i don't have any issue and i can say industry people don't have any issue because this is the base and this is the basic fundamental just have to do it if you don't know how the routing protocol is going to work how switching is about then it is going to be make a lot of challenges in the future so this is about the associate level entry level or associate level of the exams available in the cisco so what next 
let's say suppose you were the college pass out you just completed your btech or might be you just completed the mca vcom whatever the syllabus even the non technical background okay and you just wanted to start your career so how basically it is going to help you so let me just go about this role so this is ccna exam role so they are talking who can basically give this exam and who can basically attend this all ccna exam so you can see possible job roles if you are doing this ccna exam so what job role possible you can find entry level network engineer like a very free like basic network engineer like jab aap pass out hote ho so you can just go and find the job struggling and find a job aapne college out kar liya aapne training le liye to aap bahut struggling phase mein hote ho so still you need a job so aapko ccna kar loge to aapko high chance hai you will get a job there is a high chance you will easily find a job so that's a entry level network network engineer help desk technician so many of the company now it is very powerful i'm telling you guys it support is one of the high paid support available in the market because it is having a lot of demand and the skilled people not available in the market so that's why lot of company need the it people but no people are available who is a skill and who have in their skill they are asking a lot of money because let's say suppose there is one uh, there is 10 opening in the market for the skilled people i'm talking about the skilled when i talk with the skilled you should know the ccna very good you should know the ccnp very good i'll talk or might be you know cci very good so these are the skilled you have in the very good certification and there is 10 opening for the ccna ccnp cci might be for the right scale the company will find five people still they are a struggle to five five people so these five people having the lot of chance to negotiate with the different different companies to just go for the higher package okay so because it is a very huge requirement in the market because you know see digital transformation is growing on every infrastructure is coming on the line you can see like uh the railway is coming in airport is coming online your many of data center is going to de deploy india having a lot of infrastructure still untouched with the digitalizations so in future they all are going to be online and if it if it is going to be online who is going to manage that online platform who is going to manage the network that's require the network engineer right that's require the network engineer so if you are the network engineer and you starting your career with the ccnm i would say you are doing the right thing because your future is bright trust my word and note my word next 10 year nobody is going to touch you in the market right just you have ability to learn new new key skills which is required in the market just you enter in the system just you enter in the corporate world networking world security world cloud world and you'll find n number of opportunities available in the market you never know when you can you know up, uh, go from the 1x to 10x right you can multiply any time based on your effort based on your skill set and how dedicated you about your work that's only matters so next thing <clears throat> once you complete the ccna you can get a job for the network administrator network support technician so these all possible job roles available in the market and what is the prerequisite there is no prerequisite there is no formal prerequisite i am telling you guys you can give the ccna exam you can give the ccna certification even being the non technical background if you have done the simple bca bcom and you want to become the it engineer i i would say just go for the ccna just try to learn the ccna how the networking fundamental is going to work and this is the world basic best exam available in the market without this ccna i would say or i would recommend you never go for any other exam any other certifications if you are just planning to start your career just do for the ccna exam okay so no formal prerequisite but it would be good if you having one or more year of the experience in the implementing administrating a cisco solution and recommendation so if you having any kind of knowledge aapne kabhi kaam kiya and you having any knowledge so it will be always prefer it is always going to be have a good impression but agar aapne nahi kiya i am coming in the hindi in between because i want people are struggling and joining different different area 
सो so, अगर आप लोगों को कभी कुछ समझ नहीं आया तो चैट में डाल सकते हो यूट्यूब के राइट सो सो दिस इज हाउ बेसिकली इट इज गोइंग टू हेल्प यू राइट सो देर इज नो प्रे रिक्विजिट आई एम टेलिंग यू पॉसिबल जॉब रोल यू अंडरस्टैंड नाउ वट इफ यू डन द सर्टिफिकेशन वट इज गोइंग टू हैपन एंड वट इज द वैलिडिटी ऑफ द सर्टिफिकेशन सो वंस यू डू द सर्टिफिकेशन यू डू द राइट द एग्जाम ऑफ द सी सी एन ए राइट it is going to stay valid for next 3 year so you can showcase your certification any of the organization i am the cisco certified network associate next 3 year so today if you today 13th of august and you just got certified from somewhere so you can next 3 years you can showcase your certification for the any organization you are the cisco certified network associate if you are not going to do any certification after 3 year right till the validity it is going to be expired okay so you just have to maintain the certification you just have to do any other certifications or recertification of the same exam or any other certification from this list so where is the list this is the list you can do any certification from the ccna or might be go for the higher level of certification within the 3 years okay so it is going to be again stay with you so the certification is not going to be expired if you are not doing certification then it is going to be expired right other way you just have to earn learning education credit from the cisco if you having a 30 uh, continuing education credits from the cisco that is also going to make validity extended for this your ccna exam right so this is how you can understand about the prerequisite possible job role active status and recertification so i hope you understand about this ccnm so let's assume if you enroll yourself for the ccnm for any of the institute in the world right i'm not talking about just come to the guinet you can go any of the institute in the world and and you are just trying to learn the ccnm what you are going to gain and what you are going to get advantage from ccnm so the first thing you will get network fundamentals right so they we having a different different module in the ccna so you can see network fundamental network access ip connectivity ip services security fundamental and the automation and program viability so these are the different different modules so they are talking about the same thing if we are going to enroll for the any of the ccna exam you will start from the network fundamental and you will see what all network fundamental i have and how the networking is going to work for me and then you will understand the network access ip connectivity ip services security fundamental automation and programmability right so you having a lot of things to understand so these all things you are going to understand in the ccnm which is i'm telling you it is very interesting for you i know many things will be the very new for you but i'll make sure you will enjoy throughout the session okay there would be hassle free any doubt free you will understand each and everything because i'll make the course like that you guys will be enjoy throughout the session okay so this is how is the certification and all now i'm going little bit more so whenever you go for the exam what is the exam code for ccna you just find the 200-301 exam and you can schedule the exam from this portal and you'll find the exam topic as well so what are the exam topics i have in the ccna so in the ccna i have the different different exam topics so if i go a little bit let me just uh, i'm not going to exam topic right now let me just talk about little bit we understand about the ccna possible jobs prerequisite active status recertification and all and topics so we'll discuss more detail in the topics in the later stage but let me complete this one okay so what a, what after the ccna so आपने सीसीएनए कर लिया आपको आगे क्या करना है जिंदगी में अब क्या करना है अब मुझे कहा जाना है हु इज गोइंग टू टेल यू राइट क्या सीसीएनए इज अ लास्ट रिजोर्ट द आंसर इज नो यू जस्ट नॉट स्टे ऑन द सीसीएनए ओनली यू जस्ट हैव टू डू लॉट ऑफ थिंग अपार्ट फ्रॉम द सीसीएनए सो व्हाट लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स यू हैव टू डू अपार्ट फ्रॉम सीसीएनए यू जस्ट हैव टू ग्रो इन द करियर इफ यू आर स्टार्टिंग योर जॉब एज ए एनी ऑफ द प्रोफाइल from this role entry level network engineer help desk technician network administration network might be your package will be very low 
because you are going to start as a l1 support engineer jobs so might be your packet could be vary from 3 to 8 lakh per annum right so this could be the package i'm talking about the average mnc the good mnc which basically offer might be in some cases it could be the low also more than the 3 it could be the 2 lakh also starting from 2 lakh but range is up to 8 lakh some of the very good branded company and very high pay scale at, at least they give the 10 lakh also for the entry level engineer right so it is like you having the one plus experience or zero year of experience like you just a fresher so might be you'll just get any of the package from this range if you have done the ccna so i believe it's a good you just if you are the college pass out and you just start three plus uh, lakh ctc so at least you can start learning something your experience is going to be count from day zero right so your package doesn't matter your experience matter your expertise matter your knowledge matters because when this three can be multiply into 10x you don't know when you reach that 30 lakhs you don't know you started from the zero but it could be multiply into 10x it could be multiply in the 15x it can be multiply in the 20x right i'm telling the truth because it's only varies based on the your total number of experience like if you are the zero year might be you reach the 10 year experience this could be the 30 lakh package right even the you having a seven year experience you could be the 30 lakh package 25 lakh package 20 lakh package it's totally depend on you how much you are putting effort in your learning your certification and getting expert level knowledge from the industry okay how quickly you are promoting yourself from the l1 to l2 from l2 to l3 l3 to l4 that is the architect consultant role right and then the after that you will become the like uh, technical manager you will become the uh, what i can say the lead consultant kind of the role senior principal solution architect kind of the role so these all roles are become the very high where you just have to try the end to end solutions so those rule start from 40 lakhs 50 lakhs 60 lakhs some company are paying even the one cr as well for the principal con uh, consultant a senior principal consultant who is handling the very large scale network right and under them they having a lot of team across the globes so it's totally your effort is going to be play a very vital role here where you can just get the different different things in a networking domain so after ccna what do you have to do after ccna if you want to go in the l2 level right now even the l1 level in the ccna and you want to go l2 level then you just have to go for the next level of the certification so that is the professional level of the certification it professional level you can go even the l3 of the some of the cases but at least you will be the eligible for the l2 if you are doing the certification here you can do the certification ccnp routing switching you can change your track ccna ccnp security ccnp service provider ccnp collaboration ccnp cloud design professional wireless any could you can do that so this is a professional level certification then after you just have to do the expert level certification where you just have to clear the cci exam that is a very big exam right and many people are doing in the market cci exam so when you do done the cci exam you will become the cci certified engineer that is cisco certified internet work expert cci and there is a lot of again so cci routing switching c ccnp routing switching ccnp ccna routing switching but you can change your track as per your need if you want to go data center you can do it routing switching do it security do it service provider do it wireless you can do it anything you can do it it's your choice but only the basic thing i would suggest if you are starting the ccna you just must complete this certification and also any other certification you are just trying to go in the next core area security wireless service provider you can select those from ccna itself and then for the go for professional level from those and then you just go for the i level for the next thing so this is how it is going to be happen the last but not least that is known as the architect very less people available in the market cisco certified architect the highest level certification ever in the cisco no other certification available after the architect okay so this is the recognized as the 
like architectural expertise of network design who can support increasingly increasingly any complex network global organization effectively translate business strategy for the technical strategy whatever they have they are just owning their business designing their network any kind of the scaling of the network digital transformation whatever they are doing ccr ar cisco certified architect this is the highest level of certification so hope you understand guys what all those certification we have ccn is the entry right after the ccnp you have to do then you just have to do cci right and then you have to do ccar these are the four certification you have to do but doing this for four certification not a cup of tea it's a very tough certifications you can do this you can do this but after these two exam are very tough you just have to invest a lot of time but i would suggest not directly go for the cci exam it always suggest if you having five plus year of experience right you done with the ccna you done with the ccnp five plus or might be eight plus 10 plus year of experience then you just go for the cci exam it make lot of worth for you it make lot of worth for you i am repeating it again ccn and ccnp is enough till your 10 year of experience 5 year of experience you can take a call after 5 year any time you can do that but unless you having the 5 6 year of experience i would suggest if you are doing the cci it is not going to make lot of worth for you you will forget the concept you just keep doing the l1 and l2 kind of job okay or might be even you get that job l3 you just have to struggle lot of things right some people are doing but directly doing the ccna in the very beginning uh, cci in the very beginning it's it's more for personal recommendation it's not recommended right you can do any time if you have a lot of money you can just go and do that because it's a very high cost exam but i would suggest you just have to wait and you just do the certification after 5 year why i am telling this let's say suppose you are working in the l1 and l2 till 5 year and might be you having the 8 lakh of the package right and once after 5 year if you are doing the cci and you are just going to appear in the next round of the interview for the any other company it is going to multiply by the 3x or 2x i am sure about that so might be their package could be the 16 lakh or 24 lakhs it could be any things right i'm sure about that if you are doing the cci and you have, you have having the very good knowledge from the industry and you are having the 8 lakh 9 lakh package it could be the double and triple as well just depend how much right now market scenario people are holding three four offers in the market once you crack one of the interview you start serving the notice other other company are just offering the like uh, let us suppose right now you are on the 8 lakh ctc right 8 lakh ctc someone offered 12 lakh ctc someone other will come they will offer the 14 lakh ctc third one will get 16 lakh and it is keep going on right so many company is going to offer a lot of you know uh, packages for you so you can choose and uh, join those company who is offering more okay people are keep doing these things okay all right so <clears throat> this is how about the cc and ncc and pncc now i am going to discuss about this exams how the lab is going to set up so the exam topic these are the network fundamentals whatever i have you can see network fundamental is a basics so if you are starting the any networking you should know the network fundamental you should know what is a router what is the switch what is the next generation firewall what is the access point what is the controllers what is the end points what is the servers what is the poe what is the two tier three tier spine leaf architectures they are the all theoretical same but these are the fundamentals you should know you should visualize how you can visualize how you can know i'll tell you the step by process so just giving the example so let's say suppose there are a lot of things we have to visualize in the network fundamental van small offices home offices a uh, home office right on premises cloud compare the physical interface and the cabling type single mode fiber multi mode fiber connections ethernet so these are the all things we just have to visualize then only you understand the network fundamentals okay so a lot of topic we just have to understand we have to discuss in this module compare the tcp udp configure and verify the ip addressing and subnetting describe the need of the private ip addressing what is the private and public ip addressing what how the ipv4 uh, v6 is going to be configured how the prefixes is going to be configured describe ipv6 address unicast multicast 
modified EUIA 64 and uh, global unique local and the link local, how it is going to happen, how the description is going to happen, configuration is going to happen. These all things we are going to understand. We also understand what are different different IP parameter for the client OS, window, Mac OS, Linux, that is also going to understand. What are the SSIDs, RF radio frequency encryption, uh, non overlapping uh, Wi-Fi signal channel, like we having the different different band 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. So how the overlapping and non-overlapping channel are going to play a vital role. And VRA virtualization. So a lot of things we have to cover, MAC address, frame flooding, and the frame switching. These are the all topic we are going to cover. So these are the 20% of the exam is going to cover from the network fundamental and 20% exam for the network access. Again, they're having a lot of topics. I'll cover everything, layer two, root port, root bridge, port pass, port benefit, port pass benefit, wireless architecture, AP modes, what are going to happen, WLAN, WLC, AP, trunk, pack P, LSE. So a lot of things step by step we have to cover that is come in the network access that is a 40 percent exam is going to connect covered here and you can see ip connectivity that 25 percent exam where we understand the routing protocols codes network mass next shop ad values matrix gateway of last resort many people don't know what is the last get, gateway of the last resort if if people come in the interview if someone asked what is the gateway of the last resort i I'm sure 80% people always fail to answer these questions. Okay. So no worry, I'll tell you what is the meaning of the gateway of the last resort when we understand the routing protocols. Okay. Longest prefix match. People don't know how the longest prefix match. If someone asks you in the interview, if you go to CCNA interview, you're having a, this two prefix. Let me just slash 24. And I have the another prefix zero slash, or might be not this one. Let me just make this one 16 which is going to install in the routing table so people are always can confused and um, both are like learning from the ospf or might be static right so ad value is going to be same if if it is also from a static it is also from the static so ad a static is one one right so if ospf so one one ten one one ten so who is going to you know so like uh, install in the routing table. So they don't know if longest path prefix match, they will never going to answer that. Okay, so no worry, I'll, I'll make sure that how the prefix is going to be installed routing table, how the criteria is going to be filtered out before installing the routing table, how it is a rev fib and the uh, final difference with the rev and fib and how the routing table is going to populate it that I'll explain in the this IP connectivity and all. Static routing network marks, host route, floating static. Wow, I love this question in the interview. People ask always, what is the floating static route? People always confuse about this. What is the floating static route? Okay, no worry. I'll cover in the CCN. Configure the OSPF, DR, BDR, point to point, neighbor adjacency, router ID. I love these topics because I keep teaching this all. So no worry about that. Describe the first of FHRP, first hope redundancy protocol, which having the family of three. Okay, sorry for that. Which having the three family. FHRP. So this is the FHRP, FHRP. We having a three family. That is a VRRP. That is the HSRP. And the third one is the GLBP. We not all going to cover here, but we understand at least what is the HSRP and what is the use of this HSRP. These are the CCNP in core slavers. Okay. So we'll cover there. So at least we understand the flavor. Then you uh, once you connect the IP, com complete the IP connectivity, then you just have to go in the IP services where the DSCP, DNS, NTP, SN, SNMP policy uh, per hope behavior, QS classification, marking, queuing, conjunction, policing, and shipping. What that mean? How they work? That is going to be covered by you know very very layman language, so you can understand what is the classification, what is the marking. What is the queuing? How the congestion is going to happen? How the policing and shaping make difference between each other? Where the policing is going to apply? Where the shaping is going to apply? This all answer will get in this IP services module. Okay, so this is going to be happen. Security fundamental. So I love this topics because I am the security expert. I keep teaching the firewall. So no need to worry. I'm not going to describe anything. So you understand the security fundamental. Very basic, clean layman language how the threat, how the vulnerability, how the exploit, what the mitigation technique, okay? So 
because we keep dealing these things in very high level, very complex level. So for CCNA, just explaining this in the real time examples, it's make me more sensible things. Okay, so no need to worry about that. You understand that, you know, describe the security program elements like the user awareness, how the user awareness should be, how the user should be alerting, should be happen, trainings, physical access control, how it is going to deploy in the any of the organization, configure the devices, local password. These are side to side VPN, how it is work, how it is going to be, you know, configure. It is not configured. You can see they are talking about describe. So we'll discuss what that mean. Control list, how it is going to standard control list, extended control list, ACL we call, how it is going to apply on the interfaces, how it is going to block based on the source and destination IP port and protocols that we are going to cover in the security fundamentals. Okay. So different between that. TechX, authentication, authorization, and accounting concept. That is also we understand. And wireless protocols. What is the WAP, WAP uh, WPA, WPA2, WPA3 that we'll understand how it is going to configure using the WPA2 PSK on the GUI of the WLAN. So in our lab, basically, let me just show you the lab. If you guys enroll for the CCNA, you will get the lab access as well. Okay. So probably in um, uh, let me just show you. So probably no need to even you want to take a lab access from uh, me. It is all, always free for you guys for the CCNA. No need to worry at all. Okay. But even you want to build your own lab on on laptop that I'll tell you the step by step process, how it is possible on the GNS and how it is possible on the packet tracer. So you just have to install that uh, like uh, software in your computer no any hard and fast you know this is the sd wan lab guys so this is not for you this is the advanced level so you can see in my lab uh, i have uh, cisco sd wan palo alto versa sd wan so here i can just create the ccna lab okay so ccna labs i can create and if i create the ccna lab i'll give the folder access to you so what i can do i can just put ccna this is the EVNG based lab. Okay. So once our session will start, you guys get the access here. So you can connect the router. So you want to use a router. Okay. So Cisco router. See, so this is my router. So I can select the router and I can connect this router with the switch. Okay. So where's my switch? This is my switch. So I can select the switch as well. So this is my router. See my router is connect with the switch. So this is my router is connect to the switch. So they are make one network and behind this switch, I can connect one PC. So I can go here and I can connect the PC. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Which PC, virtual PC, not window PC. Where is server? server is not available on this. Okay, no problem. So I'll just go and connect one of the PC. See how, how beautiful one of the, my network becomes. So you can see this PC is connected with the switch. Switch is connected with the router and a router might be connect to the internet. So how can I make the internet connection? So I'll go here and go here and I will just select the, this cloud PNG and this I'll make the management and this is how I can make. So this might be the internet cloud. So this see my router is connected to the internet. Okay, this is how my internet is connected. So this I become make one in like network. I can just start the devices from here. So all my router switch will start. So still you guys don't know what is the router, what is the switch, what is the internet, what the PC is going to be connected. See, so my router is start. If I just click here, it is going to show you something. So let me just show you. So this is my router. Let me just open the switch as well. So this is my switch and this is my PC. So actual things like you can just build your own network. No need to worry at all. Okay. So this PC is a virtual, this switch is also virtual. You can see here, it will start very soon. So it is just booting up because these are the actual iOS image. Okay. These are not fake. V iOS. They are the actual iOS image. You can see here, these are the Cisco V iOS router and switch. So you will enjoy from here from the actual things, actual IOC, you will find here the actual router and switch here. No need to worry. 
so even it's a virtual environment but the image are very real okay so you can enjoy the pc you can see this pc is real pc you can find everything you can do open the internet you can run the anything you can feel like the real pc connected here so this lab you will get you will get free of cost no need to worry about that and it is going to available uh, with you to just do the practice and all throughout the session okay so this is going to make a lot of easy in your life to just do the practice if you don't don't want to use this lab i will i will tell the way how to you can set up the lab on your own laptop by the help of the gns by the help of the packet tracers right and how this all router switches can be installed for your practice that is also i will tell you okay so this is about the lab and all so you can see this switch is about to start it is almost started let me show you the router is also starting it's booting up so now you can see this switch is start okay and if i am running the command so ip interface brief i can see a lot of uh, ips are here if i go here for the it is no and this is also going to be so this is my router so just wait guys okay so anyone on any have question you guys put your question in the chat window of the youtube chat or teams chat as well if you want to put so i can try to answer swami so is saying sir please create the whole playlist of the ccno no worries you am very soon surprise gift will be there okay i will do something for everyone not only ccnm many courses are going to be free on my youtube channel no worry just i am working for you all okay very soon some surprise will so interface brief ah sorry i forgot the command so ip interface brief so you can say these are the basic basic command so ip route you can run you can see so ip uh, so ip protocol summary you can just run sort of command so ip bgp bgp summary there is nothing is running so spf neighbor so ip eig rp neighbor so nothing is running but you can run a lot of command okay similarly in the switch you having so vlan brief you can run the command you can see the vlan so interface trunk you can see there is no trunk show sure, run you can see this whole switch configuration so i'm just showing you how it is going to be happen okay so murli this is in a course is like uh, uh, what i can say around uh, 50 hours course so it is almost uh, two month course it is going to be happen okay so two month course uh, uh, it is going to take almost okay so if we are talking about the week this batches so that is going to take a two month and even we are talking about the weekend batches then it is going to take around two and a half month because we just do the extended session on the weekends around uh, two and a half and three hours so probably it will go take two and a half month to complete all the modules because i know that ccna people having a lot of questions <laughs> i've seen people are uh, like uh, studying in the very large scale group batches so i feel that people are having a lot of doubt but they never ask the questions due to the you know not getting the right time to ask the question because if having the many people so many people having the many doubts so probably sometime people not get right time to ask the question with the instructor but i just want to make sure i'll more focus to give the time to people to ask the question i don't want to people having the confusion in their mind and they will struggle to get answer by themselves because this is the baby step if your baby step is not uh, clearly define the process how it is going to be move forward might be you will be you know trouble so that's why i just in my every courses i always give more time to people to ask the questions instead of just i am speaking and people are listening there should be two way debate people should ask the questions they should put any kind of the question with me i am not denying you can put any kind of a question it's related to security let to non related to class i'll try to answer okay if i don't know i'll try to figure out the answer for you okay 
so these are the lab and all next uh, uh, what so you can see the automation and programmability you can see here so we will understand what is the northbound and southbound apis how the separation of the control plane and data plane what is the underlay overlay what are the some uh, dna centers cisco dns is and how it is going to enable the management control for the devices what are the controller based and control based you know controller based and control based deployment technique we having compare the tech traditional networking and the controller based networking that we'll understand okay interpret json encoded data so we'll understand these all things okay so http verb also we understand so a lot of things we'll going to cover and a lot of things we are going to enjoy it is not going to end here okay i have a bonus for you all okay so here like once we let's start for the ccna so i have very good books for you all right so todd lem de book ccna official books i have for the i have the lab manual as well if you want to just step cisco base lab manuals if you want to just build the lab from the day one and you are just to test everything so how the things is going to be tested and apply how the configuration is going to happen the rack i i can set up the same rack you guys if you want the same lab guide based on the cisco solution i can set up for you all so you can just follow this book and i can just you know you can just test everything as per your need so it is possible for me because already have tested it is everything is working likewise this book so i can configure and everything written here how to configure the interfaces how to configure the uh, shirt no shirt the interfaces verification commands everything is written in this lab guide so only i need to set up this lab guide whatever created as per this document so if you if you guys want i can create or there is another way i can create some good good lab based on my customize and you just follow my instruction you can create this log lab on your systems that is very easy for you and you can test any type of the connectivity it's up to you so this lab guide will be the absolutely free the command verification whatever the scenario available in this lab guide you can see even the ip routing if you want to build this lab so just follow this topology build this lab it's you can build this lab by on your laptop based on the gns based on the packet tracer or i can build the same lab in my lab you can see here i can build the same lab here so you guys can have access also and you just you just have to follow the same task what they are doing the step by step in this lab guide so this is also beauty of this classes see see everything written in the lab guide because i know entry level people always struggle about the lab and all okay so this is how it is going to be happen in the entry level right so this is all about the lab guide and the everything so it's a very big document you can just follow now apart from this we having the ccna Uh, like uh, study routing switching guide that is a toad lambda and everything so everything it is available and here is like you can see this is the best book i can say this book is just talking about what you should do before your exam of 30 days before of exam so it 30 first day before your exam so let's say suppose you just plan your exam and exam is just after the 31 days so what you just have to do the preparation before 31st day of your exam so this book having the very versatile and the very precise that is written by the alan johnson right uh, who basically describe how you can start your preparation so basically it is just covered like just i'm giving the example this book is talking about let's say suppose you want to go in exam and you are right now on 31st day right so you just start counting from here right 31st 30 29 20 so one by one decrementing so what you do on 31st day and what you have to do 30th day and 29th of day so on the 31st day you just have to understand the network device component in diagram you just have to understand what is the networking di diagram what is the design so how basically you can understand you just have to go on this page where it is let me just see yeah this is 31st you can see so you can see in this 31st day of the exam you just have to understand what is a computer desktop what is the icon of the so this icon you should if you find this kind of the figure you should know this is the firewall if you find this kind of the figure it's the router if you find this kind of figure this is the hub server access point right wireless lan media wan media if this is lan media this is the wan media this is the wireless media so if you find this kind of diagrams you should able to recognize 
what this icon is saying so you should able to capture the icon as well this is phone this is a desktop this is the laptop this is the firewall this is a router you should this is a wireless router because it's having the antenna integrated here you can see the antenna is integrated here so this is the router so this all you should know if you don't know about that probably you can not able to understand so you just understand the physical topology what is the ring topology what is the mass topology what is the partial mass topology you should know the difference between the partial mass and the full mass topology i'll tell you what is the star topology what is the extended star topology what is the burst topology what is the point to point topology these all you should know how the hierarchy level of design is going to happen so every icon lan van what is the speed of the media what kind of the distance they are going to cover so these are the basic steps what is the copper fiber wireless these all we are going to cover before you just you know go any of the exam for before 31st day any question guys you just put question on the youtubes right if you have any question just put on the youtube anyone having any question till now about this session so really it is going to be having very interesting guys i am telling you and we'll enjoy it together a lot because uh, this is the just you know basic of the networking that's why i just mentioned it's just beginning of the networking so if you guys don't have any question what we can do we can uh, wrap up this session here okay so at least we can start the very basic setup from the next class that is going to happen for the network fundamental in this session i'll explain what is a router what is the switch meanwhile i'm just going to explain this session you should if you are just understanding the hindi language you should go and watch this video i'm just uh, pasting in the youtube lab let me just you just guys go and watch my this video let me just let me just, let me just this is my youtube video so what you just have to do let me just go and just i'm putting this in the my live video ch chat window so where it is chat am i able to see live chat or not no where it is i'm not able to see no worry I, i'll just paste in the live chat or the my the comment box it is available here in the comment box yeah here i can see so let me just paste here so you guys can watch this video okay so i just pasted the link so you guys can watch the video here thank you murli thank you so much for your valuable suggestion okay so you can just put here so all right guys thank you so much so you you can see this is a channel you can find very latest latest video on our channel for the all type of the technologies not only the ccns ccnp you can find the palo alto sd band versa some other technology also so a lot of video available you can go and watch that is a free of cost and if you want to just attend any of the full courses just inquire us with the support team they will definitely get back to you and will uh, you'll get all the information about the upcoming batches okay so thank you so much have a great day the bye take care